This is gonna be your lower body focused mini workout that you're gonna do twice a week. Um, this workout is going to hit um, quads, hamstrings, glutes, and calves all in one workout. So um, I'm gonna take you through it. First things first, I'm gonna explain kind of the principles we're gonna use. Um, we're only gonna do one set for each muscle group. Um, you're gonna do that twice a week though. So one set can actually be enough to trigger some growth. Um, and the reason we're only doing one rather than doing maybe two or three is because the volume is gonna fatigue us a little bit more than the intensity. So I'd rather you do an intense working set than do three or four working sets that aren't as intense because that's gonna create more fatigue and it's gonna hinder what you're gonna be able to do um, in the gym on our big strength day. So we do not want that. Two is gonna be our two working sets over the course of the week is gonna be more than enough if you train intensely. So to start off this workout, we're gonna start with quads first. Um, I'll give you some variations you can do if you're doing this from home, but ideally you're doing this from the gym. Um, we're gonna set up for a kettlebell leg extension. So all you need is a bench or a box. You can set it up against the ring, you can set it up against the wall, and you need one kettlebell. You can use a warm-up set or two, and then we are gonna start um, with a kettlebell leg extension. So we're gonna do 10 reps on one side, 10 reps on the other, support your back against the bench or against the rig. You're gonna raise up, you're gonna feel all the tension in this top contracting position. Just make sure that you get your leg all the way down um, you won't have a lot of tension down there, but make sure that you're not cutting the range of motion short. That's why I stacked a bunch of plates on the top. Okay, so I'm doing 10 reps to failure. To failure, not just till it gets hard, right? Um, on one side, and then we're gonna go 10 reps on the other side. Start with whatever side you want, but usually your uh, weaker side is the one you wanna go with. Once we're done that, 10 on each, we're immediately going to go into another quad exercise. So we're gonna go into a sissy squat. So this is a new one we've been doing. You can set the rig up um, with the bar across like this. This is how I like it, but you don't need that actually. You can even just hold on to the rig. Extend your hips and then drive your knees over your toes. So knees over the toes and then drive back up. Keep your chest high and hips extended. Hold on to that bar if you want. I like one hand as far as we can with a big stretch in the quads. We're gonna go one working set to failure after our sets of leg extensions. One set of 10, one set immediately to failure with our hips high and we are done um, for our quad session. If you hit that intensely, your quads should be burning right now. The next thing we're gonna go on to is some hamstrings. So bear with me for a second as I set this up. You're gonna need some plates, you're going to need a bench, and you're gonna need a band. What we're gonna start with is a prone hamstring curl. So we're gonna move from a shortened position movement to a lengthened position movement where we're strongest. So we're gonna do one leg at a time. We're gonna do one working set of 10 for the hamstrings. I'm gonna lie down, I'm gonna tension the band, I'm gonna curl in towards my butt, get all the way in, and then back. So I have 10 reps on one leg, I have 10 reps on the other leg, and then I'm gonna go right into a seated prone hamstring curl, which is gonna be a little bit more challenging in the lengthened position. So immediately, I'm hooking that band onto my foot, hands behind the bench, curl in towards the butt, and then back. Again, I'm gonna go on this set to failure, so no prescribed amount of reps. Just go to you basically hit failure, and then we are done for our hamstrings. So again, start with your weaker leg. You're gonna do 10 reps on your right side with the prone, 10 reps on the left side, and then you're gonna go into 10, and 10 or a max efforts basically uh, with the seated variation. And that should be all you need for your hamstrings after that. We got two more. We got glutes, and then we got calves. So for your glutes, we're gonna do, again, a superset with two glute exercises. One set of 10, one set to failure. You're gonna grab this band here. We're gonna start off with a glute kickback. So we're gonna tension that band, hold on to the rig, kick straight back with a straight leg. We got 10 reps here. So grab a nice heavy band. If you want, you can even set a bench up here and I can walk a little bit farther back, then I'd be more stable to kick back. 10 on each side. 
Immediately after we're done, 10 on each side, we're gonna move into a side abduction to hit the side of the glute, that glute knee. So legs straight, kick directly out to the side, I turn my torso, I'm gonna do a max effort set here for my glute knee, and then I'm done for my glute. So again, kick back, 10 reps a side, each side, and then we go into those side abductions, max effort set. And that should be all you need for your glutes. We've got one more muscle we're gonna hit, and that is everyone's favorite, the calves. So, with our calves, we're gonna do these calf toe presses. We're gonna do one set to failure in the 10 to 15 rep range. So we're gonna grab either a dumbbell or a kettlebell to weight these. We're gonna hold on here. We're gonna basically set ourselves up, set yourself up on some really high plates so you can get a good stretch on the way down, hold on to the rig, try and go all the way, hold in the bottom position for three seconds, and then we're gonna push up to neutral. So we're doing 10 reps, or 10 to 15 reps, three second pause on the bottom, and then drive up. Control, one, two, three, push up to neutral, no higher than that. One set in the 10 to 15 rep range for your calves, and then we are done. That is your lower body workout. Like I said, a little bit of setting up to do. Um, if you need a warm up set before you go into those working sets, take it. Um, but make sure with your, when you're doing these that you're training intensely, training to failure, um, and that should be all you need.